that the uh, GS of deeper life has relocated to England. Welcome to Deeper Life Family YouTube channel. Please subscribe and get ready to be inspired, transformed and uplifted. Happy viewing. Is misapplied grace by natural beasts. Misapplied grace by natural beasts. We're looking at um, Jude chapter 1, verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares. As a church, we should be vigilant. As a church, we should open our eyes and see because there are certain men, even women, crept in unawares now. Over here, by the grace of God, we believe the Bible, we teach the Bible, we proclaim the Bible, and any information you want to have, you have from us here. You hear from the word of God that is taught. And we teach plainly. And we teach clearly. And we're not afraid of anyone. And we're not afraid of the consequence of what we preach from the Bible. And so, if you hear anyone inside here, they creep in unawares. And we're not even as vigilant now as we used to be. You know, somebody hears that the uh, GS of deeper life has relocated to England. And then you read that and you don't understand the troublemakers. There are church scatterers. They want to scatter us. What are you doing there? Your pastor has relocated to England. They creep in on a ways and they tell other people and the other people tells another person and the other person tells another person. And you know, I did relocate uh, anywhere. Now tell me, did I relocate? Well, because I went for crusade and conference and the crusade and the conference is not being transmitted here but we do it over there we have time difference and some of the countries I go like the one I went in May uh, seven hours ahead of Nigeria when it is seven o'clock. I should be preaching here. It be two a.m. in that other country. There's no way I could transmit that here because of our time difference. And then after I finished, and actually I went to Aba from Aba. I cross over to the Philippines. From the Philippines, I cross over to Dubai and other cities in UAI. It was a long trip. And after long trip, after that long trip, jumping into the plane and coming down, going here and there, I needed a few days to rest so that I would not come back weary, tired, and I could not preach again so i waited and because i spent that time they told you that i have tell me that i've relocated why do you even read all those things and somebody wrote a letter to me and he wrote it to london and he used the address of a church in London. When I opened the letter, the fellow said, I'm writing this to you. I need prayer. I need counseling. But I had 
you are now based in London. You will not believe a lie. And in our church, people creeping in, they are careless. They are corrupt. They deliberately want to poison your mind against your pastor. Nobody will do that to you. It says, for there are certain men crept in, certain women crept in on unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men. All those people that creep in and they are sitting with us here to hear what we are saying and then to go and tell a lie to the world through social media. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God they still profess the uh, in our church they are members of our church or they are members of other churches and yet they deny the only Lord God our Lord Jesus Christ we're looking at verse 10 there in verse 10 it says but these speak evil of those things which they know not but what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves look at verse 12 in verse 12 it says these are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead. They were dead in, in sins and trespasses before they said they came to know the Lord. They came to know the Lord and they were made alive in Christ. Then they backslide, they are dead again, twice dead. It says they're twice dead, blocked up by the roots. Look at verse 13. In the next verse, it says, Raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Grace, when it comes into our lives, we need to understand. Don't misunderstand the grace of God. Thanks for watching this video. Please, don't forget to like, share and comment. God bless you.